This is a laser bore sighter. It's an important firearms maintenance tool. We're going to take a look at how to use this to properly align your scope, optics, or open sights. Because you can't use a firearm safely unless you can aim it safely. I have to point this out because YouTube staff have rejected a previous version of this video claiming that this is a gun modification. It is not. It's a tool. And for the sake of safety, never point a laser at anyone's face or look at a laser beam directly. Hey, Moondog here. We're at the range today with my Wolfrode Laser Bore Sighter. Now, in a previous episode, I went into detail about this bore sighter and how you could actually see the green dot from up to 100 yards in daylight. Uh, in shade, but still, in daylight at 100 yards, that's pretty remarkable. So in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to actually use this to zero out your sights and optics. I've got my Ruger 1022, and we're gonna use this uh, Wolf Road to zero it out. So let's get started. Attach the appropriate size caliber adapter to the mandrel or stem of your bore sighter. You want to thread it securely with a good three or four revolutions and you want the adapter fitted very snugly in the barrel. For this next part, make sure your firearm is unloaded and pointed in a safe direction. Carefully insert your bore sighter into your barrel. The correctly sized adapter should fit very snugly. The base of the laser tube is funnel shaped so it should rest squarely on your muzzle. You will need to twist the laser tube. Just be mindful of which direction you're turning it in uh, so you don't accidentally unscrew the adapter off of your stem. In general, anti-clockwise is a safer direction because the adapter, which is stationary, is turning in the opposite direction. Righty tighty. This scope has already been sighted in, zeroed for this particular rifle. Now, as you can see, the laser bore sighter is where I positioned it when I first inserted it into the barrel, and the dot is not aligned to the center of the crosshairs. In fact, it's a little bit to the left and a little bit low. Now, granted, this scope was zeroed for 50 yards and we're at 25 yards, but it's off to the left. It's not even centered. And a lot of new gun owners have uh, tried out laser bore sighters and have noted this lack of precision and have either thought that there was something defective about their particular laser bore sighter, have discounted or poo pooed laser bore sighters as a tool because they think that they're useless. Now here's an inconvenient truth. When you insert the laser bore sighter and you look down, it's not 100% aligned to your bore. When you insert it into your barrel, it's going to be just a little bit off. It's going to be a little bit to the right, to the left, up to whatever direction. And it's going to be different every single time you take it out and put it into your barrel. Well, I'm going to show you why this doesn't matter. Think about it this way. If you're putting on a new scope or optic on your rifle, it's not going to be zeroed out. And so there's no way to know that your laser bore sighter is off or by how many degrees it's off. So let's simulate that with this scope. I'm going to erase the alignment, erase the zero from the scope by randomly turning those turrets and the alignments all messed up. The green laser dot is visible on the target paper on the lower left quadrant. Uh, you can see it both on the target as well as through the optic. There is a bit of flickering and that is uh, an artifact of the digital camera and not visible with the naked eye. Now, as we saw and discussed, that dot's a little bit off. It's not exactly at the impact point for this rifle. Now, laser bore setters have little adjustment screws to fine tune the position of where the laser is pointing. Now, unless there's something off, really entirely off with your laser bore setter, I would not recommend adjusting or futzing around with this because it's just a waste of time. There's a better way to do this. What you just need to do is rotate your laser bore sighter. That's because no matter what imperfection there is in the bore sighter, whether it's a slight bend in the stem, how it was constructed, or how the adapter was threaded onto the stem, it'll cause that laser dot to be slightly off center from the center of your bore, but that's okay. As you rotate that laser bore sighter, that dot will move in a circle. It'll trace a circle around the center of your bore. So a good way to get a rough zero on your sighting device is to align it with the center of the circle that that dot traced. But if you don't have a stable rifle rest or you're trying to sight in a pistol, just leave the dot at the lowest point in the circle that it traced. You'll then adjust your reticles, crosshairs, or sights to align with this dot or just a few inches above it. 
Now your sights are ready for you to test fire, just be sure you remember to take out the boar cider. I know this may seem obvious, but I've heard a few stories. Aim this for the number on that middle ring there. Let's see. Alright. We're a little low. They put a hole just below that. I'm going to confirm that, but I'll shoot two more. Now at this point we we're pretty close to to zero it but we're not really wouldn't want to be zeroing this out for 25 yards. Okay, I'm going to move my bench to 50 yards so we can test from there. Uh, but I want to ask you, if you've been enjoying this episode thus far, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribing is free and hitting the like and subscribe buttons are important because it tells the AI that you like content like this and it helps this channel grow because the AI will suggest this video to other folks like you. And if you like to watch things other than guns and ammo, that's cool. I got you covered. Check out and subscribe to my new channel, Moondog R&D, a channel focused on gadget reviews, photo and video gear, you know, geeky stuff. We're at 50 yards and I haven't adjusted the sights since our initial dial in at 10 yards. And I've put up some paste up targets so we can more easily see any holes on paper. Right oh. On oh good, so we are pretty much spot on from where. Yeah, I can see it. I was worried that if, I, if we weren't on target, I'd be having a, to really hunt for the hole. By the way, if you notice that target on the center left, I was shooting pistols at 10 yards and that target was unrelated to this test. Uh, a little to the right. The yeah. So I will adjust this reticle just one click down elevation wise because you may just be it, this is not, this is about as accurate as this uh, ammo is going to be at this range, I think. I think it's as good as we're going to get for this rifle. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with how this is zeroed out. There you go, laser bore siders. Yeah, they're not 100% precisely aligned to your bore at the get-go, but this is how you make them work. Leave me a comment if you've got any tips or experiences with laser bore siders. This technique works for just about every laser bore sider, but if you're interested in picking up this particular model as seen in this episode, I'll include a link in the video description, and you can always find more information on my blog, moondogindustries.com. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, it really helps. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.